watch this guy stand up. There you go. That's cool. Okay, Steve Patton with General Patton Bushcraft back with you. Got another super exciting video. This one is on ringtails. Okay, let's start out. The first thing I had to teach myself was these things are not called ringtail cats. These are just straight ringtails. And let's talk about the identifying features of the ringtail. And one of the big problems is it's super hard to see these guys because they're nocturnal. They sleep all day long. But they have a long tail with alternating bands of white and black fur. They have large eyes surrounded, surrounded by white rings of fur, large rounded ears, short legs, and a long grayish colored body. One thing I want to say about the white fur around those eyes is that those white rings deflect the, the moon and starlight at night into those large eyeballs so that they can see very well. Okay, back with you with these handsome little guys and next up we're going to talk a little bit about how they have adapted some of their adaptations now ringtails are excellent climbers capable of ascending vertical walls trees rocky cliffs and even cactus they can rotate their hind feet 180 degrees I'm going to say that again. Their hind feet can rotate 180 degrees. That's super cool. Now this gives them a good grip for coming down those same structures that we just talked about. Walls, trees, rocky cliffs, and even cacti. They have excellent eyesight as well as hearing. Both helpful adaptations for a nocturnal hunting life. Look at that guy's tail. It's longer than his body. Okay, let's talk a little bit about their habitat. Ringtails prefer to live in rocky habitats associated with water. These areas can include riparian canyons, caves, mine shafts. Ringtails can be found from southwestern Oregon, south through California, southern Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Texas, my home state of Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Baja, California, and northern Mexico. The wild status of ringtails are very tame, so to speak. Uh, I've read accounts where miners throughout history used to uh, keep these almost like a cat in their shelter, their lodge, or their cabin to keep the mice population down. And boy, that is one thing that we have learned doing these trail cam camp setup says that there is a lot of mice out and about but the wild status of the ringtail is classified as LC which stands for least concern on the IUCN red list you guys can look that up I didn't even know about that but that is a classification that uh, classifies all dangerous animals. All right, let's talk a little bit about the ringtail's diet. Ringtails are omnivores 
which means they will eat just about anything if it's the right size. Some of their food choices are fruit, insects, lizards, snakes, small mammals such as mice, wood rats, squirrels, as well as birds and eggs. I've been reading that they really love birds and eggs. Okay. What are some of the ringtails predators? What does this little guy have to worry about out there? Well, great horned owls love to snatch these guys up. Bobcats and coyotes, which we have a lot of coyotes out here in the South Mountain Preserve, my hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. Ringtail's home, their home is called a den. They would den in tree hollows, rock crevices, other animals' abandoned burrows, mine shafts, abandoned buildings, and some are even known to find their way into attics of occupied homes. All right, the lifespan of a ringtail is about six to nine years, and they can live much longer in captivity. So if any of you out there are thinking about trying to get one of these ringtails and make it a pet, I think it could have pretty good success doing it. Make a real good pet. They weigh about one to two pounds and are 24 inches in length, including the tail. About two foot long with the tail and about one to two pounds probably of solid muscle. I'll leave you guys with a couple extra fun facts. Uh, ringtail are sometimes right, wrongly called ringtail cats or miner's cats. They are not related to cats at all. The relatives include the Cody and the raccoon. The second fun fact is that in August of 1986, the ringtail became the state mammal of Arizona, my home state. Very hard to see during the day as they sleep all night, but very active at night. And we're picking them up pretty good with our trail cam setups this was uh, early February of this year we've had a very very mild winter here in Arizona Phoenix Arizona But I want to thank you guys for stopping by the channel. I want to thank you for checking out this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Please consider that bell icon. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But most importantly, please leave me a comment. Leave me, let me know what you think about these ringtails. Again, thanks for stopping by the channel. This is Steve Patton with General Patton's Bushcraft and Self-Reliance School. I hope you've enjoyed this video called Ringtails.